Well, what do your back porch, living room, and bathroom all have in common? Your baby could be born in any of them. Over the last year, because of the pandemic, some parents looked into home birth instead of hospital delivery. For most moms and dads, this is not the picture of 2020. But this is for Jamie Cunningham and her wife. I just feel so much safer at home right now. At home, Jamie gave birth. It was May, and outside her window, coronavirus had just shut down businesses. Mask mandates were popping up. Hospitals across the country were implementing visitation limits and new protocols. I was certainly, certainly happy to have made that decision, and it really did, like, it, I felt more empowered that we had chosen uh, a home birth, especially amid a pandemic. Jamie worked with Roots and Wings in Knoxville. A midwife oversaw the birth. Having a baby is often a very fun and exciting time and people really look forward to it. But a lot of the hospital protocols are making it not feel so fun and exciting. And so I think people are starting to look into other ways that they can um, have a safe delivery. Yes, midwives do still exist and it's probably not what you're picturing. And I think um, sometimes people when they think of this, they think old school. And when they come into a birth, they have this like one little bag that they bring with them. And uh, we bring so much more than that now. The modern day midwife is trained in all of those same traditional techniques that midwives in years past are known for that natural um, mindset about delivery and birth. But we also, have the benefit of modern medicine. According to the Mayo Clinic, home births are associated with a higher rate of infant death. The midwife says her skills can reduce that risk. The CDC reports just under 1% of births in America happen at home. Because of the pandemic, that number could go up. Our belief is that birth is a normal physiological process, that your body is made to be pregnant and carry a baby and deliver a baby and that your baby is made to be born. So we feel like our job is just to monitor that process. They did, along with Jamie's mom, wife, aunt, dad, in-laws, and two other children. We asked everybody who we wanted to be on our support team, we asked everybody to kind of isolate two weeks before my due date, and then I ended up going six days past my due date. One more person was there, too, the photographer. The pandemic or not, I think home birth is really something that uh, people should give more thought to. Uh, just because you have more autonomy. In a hospital in May of 2020, these pictures never would have happened. But at home, birth looks like this. Now, doctors say home birth should only be an option for low-risk pregnancies and not multiples. It's a really big decision, and both the midwife and doctors agree being well-informed before you make it is really important. So we've got resources for you on WATE.com right now if home birth is something you are interested in or considering. Just go ahead and click on this story. 